How's it going guys? What you're going to see today is a breakdown and review of the new assault rifle coming out for the Naval Strike DLC later in the month called the AR-160. You'll see highlights in the background because on PC you can actually use it on private servers or because the latest patch enabled, enabled you to have access to and unlock the assignment for it. That's how I have access to it in the back in case you were curious. But of course for all of my reviews what you'll see is a breakdown of the maximum ranges of success for the gun, all of the synthetic stats, everything you can conceive pro and con wise about the rifle, what you should learn, what you should know, and everything of the sort. So let's get started. First things first, uh, when you look at how to unlock it, it's called spare, the, the assignment's called spare time sniper. You have to get uh, three assault rifle ribbons and every assault rifle ribbon is six kills, so a total of 18. And you have to get 20 headshots with assault rifles. I guess DICE learned their lesson about shitty uh, overall assignments, so thankfully you don't have to actually do this in one match. You can spread out and you can take your time. The other thing too, uh, it fires a 5.56 by 45 round. It holds 30 rounds in the magazine plus one in the chamber for 31. And it has a 700 fi fire rate per minute. So standard par for the course and I'll break down that 700 fire rate uh, shortly. The overall damage model for the assault rifle is pretty standard. If uh, 25 max damage, 18 is the minimum. Uh, the damage drop off starts at 8 meters, ends at 55. Uh, when you break down uh, the velocity, the bullet velocity fires 650 meters per second, which is quite high. 340 meters per second when suppressed, so it's kind of s quite slow there. The reload time is 3.15 seconds when completely empty, too, when there's a round left in the chamber. So, so far, it's a very balanced gun from the looks of it. There's nothing glaring outside of, other than the fire rate that actually takes away from it. It's actually quite good when on, on paper looking at the statistics. When you look at the actual reload, or the recoil pattern, I should say, uh, 0 0.2 left, 0 0.2 right, so it's perfectly balanced horizontally, and that is an absolutely fantastic attribute to have to, a, to an assault rifle. You don't, you only have to worry about controlling the vertical recoil, uh, which isn't much, by the way. And if you look at the actual uh, ho ho vertical and horizontal breakdown in terms of uh, recoil, it's almost a carbon copy of the Scar H. So if you're a fan of the Scar H, like I am, and I will be putting out a review for that shortly as well. Uh, you'll enjoy this gun as well. Now, look, to break down the ranges for great success, this thing is a monster at medium range, and I'd even put it up there among the top two or three in the game in medium range. It's really that good. The problem being, over long, it's good in long range too. I'd probably put it in the top three or five in terms of long range abilities as well. The only big detriment to it is the fact that over range, the Scar H is the better option. The Scar H, uh, despite having uh, a lower fire rate, has the higher uh, bullet damage per round increase over this particular assault rifle. So the Scar H would have it over longer range. But that being said, if you didn't like the Scar H, this thing would still hold its own. But breaking down short range is where the real problem with this thing is. Uh, the AEK, the FAMAS, the L85 and a whole bunch of the other ones would, even, assuming the perfect scenario of two guys seeing each other, drawing their sights, and firing at the exact same conceivable time against each other, those are, so even if you're, in, and they're dead even shots, assuming there's, like, you're both hitting the chest, one isn't hitting the head another, you will be at a disadvantage versus a ton of other rifles. And that's, that's only including the assault rifles. I'm not even including shotguns, I'm not including LMGs, I'm not including PDWs. So you're at a disadvantage there. Short range is not for this assault rifle. You want medium and long range for success, and that's the biggest drawback to it. Now to break down what I would use on this thing, uh, Coyote Sight or the Red Dot Sight would be my favorite. Your preference is there. That's more subject subjective. Uh, my accessory is the Laser Sight for those hip fire uh, situations in shorter range. Uh, now the muzzle brake, because it's basically a straight vertical recoil on this thing, you can use the muzzle brake for tap and burst firing because it'll decrease muzzle climb by 25%. Uh, compensator you don't need at all because it has no horizontal uh, recoil at all. You can use the flash hider. Uh, personally right now I'm just using the muzzle brake and when I unlock it I'll be using the suppressor for flanks so the, that's great there. Uh, and in terms of the underbarrel, you can use the angled grip for the first shot recoil improvement it makes this thing an absolute laser beam. Uh, or if you like firing on the run or on the move a lot uh, to decrease the hip fire uh, penalty, you can use the ergonomic grip by 50%. Uh, overall, I would say, like I said, this thing is a monster at medium, good over long, terrible in short. 
and you should plan the maps and what you're going to be doing based on that accordingly. I would overall consider it a very good gun, however, uh, and if you're a good shot at medium and long range, this would compete with the L85 and other ones as well. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.